In other news, yes, violence has flared again on the streets of the Egyptian capital as supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi clash with authorities. These are live pictures we're showing you now from Cairo where there are reports that now 15 people have been killed after security forces moved in to break up two protest camps. The military has been using armoured vehicles and bulldozers to clear these sit-in camps in an operation which began in the early hours of the morning. Sky News reporter Sam Carley has more from the Egyptian capital. But in the small hours of this morning, the security forces moved in reportedly both to the camp outside the University Square, which is uh, relatively small, but also uh, to, they have been uh, approaching and uh, uh, moving into the Rabat al Adawiya uh, mosque area which is a very substantial area indeed. Many tens of thousands of people have been camping there now for some weeks. It's really a town within a town. Now, we have these unconfirmed reports of 15 dead. Uh, this it would be consistent with the previous attempts that they have made, the security forces, to clear these areas. Uh, just a few weeks ago, more than 70 were killed and uh, many hundreds, 300 plus wounded, uh, mostly in Rabaul al Dawiya during a, a similar attempt by the security forces to go in. But they are now moving in with armoured vehicles to smash down the barricades that the uh, demonstrators, the pro morsi demonstrators, had erected to protect themselves. And these demonstrators, uh, by and large, are not armed with anything other than uh, staves. Uh, there have been, uh, has been evidence in the past of the use of um, homemade shotguns uh, but there is uh, not any evidence of that yet on the on on the side of the uh, anti-government demonstrators. But the what they have done is use uh, build the steel shields, uh, eye viewing slits, which they uh, are hiding behind as they uh, come under attack once again from the security forces.